Hey guys, Michigan Prepared here. Listen, I wanted to make a quick video because I'm hearing this stuff going around and it's really got me frustrated, okay? First of all, you guys know what's going on with the whole U.S. Uh, government versus Texas BS. Uh, Governor Abbott down in Texas, I think he's doing a good thing. I think he's standing up to corruption. Uh, but the government stepping in and saying, no, you're going to do what we say when we say it, and we're going to allow all these illegals across the border, whether you like it or not, we're going to allow them into your state and every other state and whatever the hell have you. Uh, I don't agree with it. Uh, I think it's BS. I hope the new president rounds up all these illegals and sends them right back to where they came from. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, but Chicago has a petition out right now, and I'll post that up on the screen here somewhere uh, so you guys can look it over but basically what it is is the petition going around asking people to volunteer and if you volunteer you can fill out this form and you can allow uh, an illegal immigrant family to live with you in your home with you and your children no no so right now, it's just a petition, guys. Chicago's doing it. Uh, I forget the name of the city, but it'll be up on that screenshot I put up there. Um, and New York City is also doing the same thing. They got a petition out asking residents of New York City to allow a family to live with you. No. Now, the problem with this is, is right now they're just asking. Have you ever heard of a thing called eminent domain? It's basically a law in the books where it allows the government to come in and seize whatever property they want for whatever reason they need. So right now they're just asking. But pretty soon I have a feeling it's going to get to a point where they're telling. And they may just take your house and give it to an illegal immigrant family and leave you out on the streets. Now, I don't know what the hell country y'all live in, but I live in America. And you ain't taking my freaking house to just give it away to somebody else and put me and my family out on the streets. I worked hard for that. They flooded over to this country illegally and they get all this free shit? I don't think so. Um, I just lost my train of thought. So you got the uh, illegal immigrant thing going on, right? Trying to force you to give up your house and whatever else uh, to these illegals. Uh, and for whatever reason, oh, that's where I was leading into. The government is fighting with Texas right now. Texas, I think, has got its head on its shoulders. Texas knows what's up. And I may just move to Texas because I agree 100% with what they're doing. And uh, I would love to live in a, uh, a state like that. I think Texas has really got it put together. They're standing up to corruption where all these other states, they just kind of cave to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but what it boils down to, guys, is it's an engineered crisis. I don't know if you guys have heard, but there's hospitals going bankrupt because illegal immigrants are getting free health care. You got all these illegal immigrants having kids and and everything else, and these hospitals are starting to go bankrupt. Our, you know, uh, DHS departments around the country, they're overwhelmed. A lot of our fire and police, they're overwhelmed. We got illegal immigrants living in subway tunnels, we got them living in airports. We got them living in gymnasiums at schools, football fields, uh, football stadiums. We got them living every, everywhere. We're housing them and we're putting them everywhere. It's bankrupting America. The size of uh, Iowa is like 225 million people, I think is what it is. And there's so many illegal immigrants coming across the border that are here in the U.S. now that you could have filled Iowa twice. I mean, every aspect of our 
Judicial system is being overrun. Some of these illegal immigrants have court dates 10 years out because the court systems are overrun with these illegal immigrants flooding in. 10 years out. That's ridiculous. Then you got DHS not being able to keep up with food stamps and, and, and whatever else for people who actually need it. People who are legal residents of this country. Then you got hospitals going bankrupt. You guys, it's, I forget exactly what it's called. It was developed in 1966, but it, there's an actual law or term or something that, that was developed in 1966. Please forgive me, it slips my mind. Some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. But it, it's an engineered crisis. It's an engineered collapse to cause the system to crash so they can reboot it in the manner in which they choose. This ain't by accident. It's on purpose. And it's been on purpose. That's why the, our government is hell-bent on having all these people flood into our country. Why? Because it's going to overwhelm the system. It's going to cause everything to crash. And it's going to cause their engineered crisis to take place, which means the system is going to have no other choice but to reboot in some fashion or other. Maybe it's the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. Maybe it's the... Uh, the passport IDs, the carbon tax footprint, you know, allowing you to, uh, so they can track how much gas you buy and how much food you buy and whatever else the case may be. Either way, it's an engineered collapse, guys, and this country's going to shit real fast. I'm real pissed off. I got Governor Abbott's back 100%. I agree totally with everything he's doing. I am real pissed off, guys. Uh, by now, I should have put up a couple screenshots showing you guys what's going on. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's all I was going to talk about today. But uh, it's time to get stocked up, guys. It's time to get ready. Who knows what the hell's around the next bend? Uh, there's been so much increased military movement here within the U.S. that it's scary. I think that they are actually preparing for an attack here on U.S. soil uh, without actually saying that they're preparing for an attack here on U.S. soil, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. Um, so, yeah, it's time to get stocked up. It's time to pay attention, and it's time to grab some protection equipment because uh, I'm not going down without a fight. I don't know about you guys, but I am not going down without a fight. You are not going to take over the home that I paid for, that I busted my ass for 20 years for just to give it to some family. You are not going to force me to allow somebody I don't know to live in a house or live in my house with me and my children and steal from me and possibly hurt or molest my children, my wife. No, it is not happening. This government has gotten way out of control. You guys, I don't, I mean, I only got 95 subscribers, so that isn't enough to put a fucking, a dent into nothing. But if this word can spread, if this word can get out, people need to start banding together, standing up against this corruption and saying, no, enough is enough. We are done with this shit. This is our America. What these government officials fail to realize is that they are voted in. They are chosen by the people. Meaning they are run by the people. If we voted them in, we can kick their asses out. We can stand up to Bill Gates and tell him enough's enough. I don't give a shit how much money he's got. I don't give a shit how much money Elon Musk has got. You're just a fucking human just like I am. And I am tired of this shit. Them thinking they can do with us what they want, when they want. I am absolutely sick and fed up, y'all. Sorry about the language, but I am pissed off. I am so tired of reading the news and saying, oh, well, the government's doing this now. The government's doing that. You have no choice in this. You have no say in that. Fuck that. This is my country. They are uh, elected officials. We are the ones that elected them. We are the ones that can get their asses out of, this, uh, out, out of power or whatever. This is our country, not theirs. They are not going to tell me what I can and can't do. We are going to tell them what they can or can't do. That That's... I, you guys, I'm telling you, I think we're heading for a civil war. There's plenty of people out there that are just as pissed off as I am, 
And one of these days, that twig is going to snap. And all of us people are going to stand up against this government and be like, listen, enough's enough. And I know plenty of people in the military, guys. I've been in contact with my friends and, and people that are overseas right now fighting this bullshit. And I'm telling you right now. If they hold any honor to the Constitution whatsoever, they are not going to harm a, a soul on American soil. Why? Because they swore to uphold portions of the Constitution saying that it will protect its people through foreign or domestic. You guys know what I mean. I don't. I, I, I sounded like a retard there. I, I, I get it. But uh, you guys know what I mean. The military, most of them, 99% of them, swear to God, if our government tells the military to put a bullet in an American person's chest, the government's going to refuse. They're going to stand 100% uh, uh, with the people and against the government. That's the way it's turning out to be. So with Biden saying, oh, well... If you think you're going to overthrow the government, I hope you can take out F-16s and tanks and everything. We don't need it because the military ain't going to use them against us. I can guarantee it. There's going to be a couple corrupt, you know, butt kissers that are going to follow through. But for the most part, no. Military is not going to harm uh, somebody here in America. They're, they're not going to fight against us because the people are pissed off at the government. The hell, they're pissed off at the government. They just have orders to do what they're doing. If they were ordered to take down people that are leaving their house or doing what they want to do within legal reason, government ain't going to do shit to you. Or, I mean, the government might, but the military ain't going to do shit to you. Time to get your protection equipment, guys, while you still can. It's time to get stocked up. This freaking world is out of control. Um, who knows what's around the next corner? But I can tell you what, I am definitely going to be one of the ones. If there's a mad push, push back against this government and what they're doing to the people. If a civil war breaks out, I'm going to be on the side of the people. That's all I'm going to say. I'm definitely going to have the people's back. Screw this corrupt government. Mark my words too, guys. The 2024 election, either somebody's going to be reelected. You know, because they won. Or there's not going to be an election for some reason. And I guess we'll, we'll figure out what's coming on or what's going to happen with that soon. But get stocked up, guys. One pissed off patriot here. Keep your heads on a swivel. Pay attention to what's going on because this shit is getting real sickening real fast. Going to force me to allow some family I don't know to just move in and live with my family. I don't fucking think so. And pay their bills and everything else. They ain't got to pay shit while I go slave and work and I'm broke all the time. No. Hell no. Not happening. So pissed off, y'all. Keep your heads on a swivel. Love you. Till next time. Mission prepared out.